Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the AKK Nano 2 Micro VTX. This VTX is very similar to the Ishin VTX03 and the ATX03, but the main difference is that the VTX can be configured through Betaflight OSD. So in this video I'm going to guide you through its specifications and features and then I'm going to show you how you can control it with Betaflight OSD. Inside this bag we're getting the instructions manual, the VTX, and also this WIP antenna with an IPX connector which connects over here. You can see instantly that it's lacking the LED screen which is featured in the ATX3 and the VTX03. In order to configure this VTX you will need to use these LED indicators over here. The input voltage is between 3.2 to 5.5 volts and the output power is selectable between 25, 50, 100 and 200 millivolts. So over here we have the input voltage, then the ground, then the output 5 volts and the ground for the camera connector if you would like to power the camera through its BTX. Then the green wire is the FC port which connects to the UART and then you will be able to control the band, channel and output power through Betaflight OSD. And the yellow wire is the video in. The weight of the VTX is 2.93 grams, so it weighs about the same as the VTX03, which weighs 2.95 grams. After turning on the VTX, you can set the frequency, channel and output strength using this button over here. When you first get it, it's going to be set on band A and the channel is 1 and the output strength is 50 millivolts. If you wish to change the channel, you will have to short press this button over here. Then this left LED indicator just blinked and now it's on channel 2. You don't have any indication on the channel that you're on but this LED indicator is going to be solid blue again only when you reach channel 1. And now when we cycle it back to 1 it's going to be on again. If you wish to change the frequency you will have to long press this button for about 2 seconds. The top LED is A, then B, then E. F and R, so you have 5 frequencies, 8 channels, so in total you have a combination of 40 channels. So if you long press for 2 seconds, you have to wait for the red LED to flicker, and then you can just short press this button, and then you can cycle between all the available frequencies. If you wish to change the output strength, you will have to long press this button for about 4 seconds, then this LED indicator is going to flicker, and then you can switch between 25, 50, 100 and 200 millivolts. When this LED indicator is solid, it means 25, then it moves next to 50, then to 100, and then to 200 millivolts. So configuring it is not as easy as using an LED with a digit indicator. And also when it's going to be somewhere inside your micro quadcopter, it's going to be hard to configure it. So that's why you should opt in for the Betaflight OSD configuration. So now I'm going to show you how to configure it through Betaflight OSD. For that I'm going to use the HLRC Zeus flight controller. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect the green wire, which is the UART wire, to the TX6 pad on the HLRC Zeus. Of course you can choose whichever UART which is available on your flight controller. So I just connected the VTX to this flight controller. I connected the plus 5 volt in the ground to the camera ports over here. And this is just for testing. Just be careful when you're connecting this VTX to make sure it's connected to an output source which is within its working voltage range. Otherwise, you're going to fry the VTX. In addition, I connected the video in of the VTX to the video out of the board. And the UART wire to the TX6 pad on the board over here. So in order to configure it, you will have to connect your flight controller to Betaflight and then turn on the TBS Smart Audio under peripherals on the UART that you connected the VTX to. I connected it to your 6 and hit save and reboot. Now you can simply access the Betaflight menu by putting the throttle in the middle, then push the yo to the left and the pitch to the top. Then go to features, you can navigate just using pitch and roll stick. Go to VTX SA, tilt the roll to the right, and then you can select the band, channel and the power. At least in this version the power is adjustable only between 25, 200 
and the other one are not applicable. So you can select the 50 and 100 millivolts options. You can see, by the way, when I switch to 200, that the LED indicator is being turned off and now it's being turned on again. Same goes for the bands. You can select between all the available bands, A, B, E, and F, and race band, and then select the channel. Now I'm going to switch to Fetch Arc 1, for example, and I'm going to set it on 200 millivolts. Then you will have to select set, confirm, and now you can see that we lost the picture because now it's set on channel one. So I'm going to perform a scan. And now we have a picture again. So as you could see, setting up the VTX through Betaflight OSD was much more pleasant than using the LED indicators and this button. And in addition, when the VTX is somewhere inside your micro quadcopter and you can't access it with ease, it's going to be much easier to configure it through the Betaflight OSD. And I think this is one of the biggest advantages of the AKK Nano 2 over the VTX-03 and the ATX-03 as well. The disadvantage, however, is that the AKK Nano 2 does not support audio, whereas the ATX-03 does support it. As for the price, currently this VTX is being sold for about $15, where you can pick the VTX03 on, on sale for about $12, so I don't think it's a, that much of a big difference. And having the ability to control the bending channel through the Betaflight OSD is a great feature in my opinion, and you should ask yourself if it's worth the difference depending on your needs. So I'm going to feature this VTX on a build video and then I will be able to take it outdoors and show you how it performs. So stay tuned. As always, if you have any questions about this VTX or any other product that I've shown in this video, feel free to ask it in the comment section below and I'll see you on my next videos. Goodbye.